Uh, in this demonstration, I'm going to be making a selective silvered mirror. Uh, everything you see in this uh, panel right here that is clear glass is going to um, be mirrored. And everything that's got the white on it that says it has the Corvette and stuff logo on it will uh, be clear when I'm done. Right now I'm putting cerium oxide on it. I'm going to clean it up really good and polish the glass. So this first step just basically cleans up and polishes the glass and as you can see the vinyl is holding on really well. Uh, this has been actually on there for three days already. Uh, it doesn't need to be. It can be put on immediately and then gone ahead and silvered. So now I'm just going to clean it off with some junk water and just regular tap water. Now I'm going to wash it up with soap and water. Anytime you're working with uh, glass and you're going to mirror it, you can clean with junk water, meaning tap water, ordinary tap water. But you, uh, so when I'm rinsing, I rinse it off with tap water, not to waste all my distilled water. And then I follow it up with distilled water. This is distilled water. What it does is it takes all the minerals off the surface, cleans up the glass really well. And once I'm to this point, I've got it cleared. Everything's cleaned off. I'm doing a pour method. I'm going to take tin and make sure that I get into all these little pores, all these little openings, all this stuff, and it needs to overflow. It only needs to sit between 5 and 15 seconds. Really the idea is just to get the uh, tin to take to the glass. And then once it has, you have to rinse it with distilled water. Otherwise the silver will just act funny. So now I'm just rinsing with distilled. What I want to do now, because I have all like the the O and stuff, I'm going to turn this upside down, kind of get it to shake out a little bit, because I'm going to pour the silver over this. So now I have it tinned, I have it cleaned. I got two parts. I got silver, it's already got four ounces in here, and now I'm mixing in reducer. This is quite a bit of material, but I'm going over this whole thing, and I just want to Make sure I did with the tin. Want to go over everything, make sure it's flooded into all those spots, and instantly you're going to start to see it silver up. And this whole process takes a couple minutes to really get to the point where it needs to be. And I can tip it. Rock it. And that'll just build it up more. As you can see, it's already a mirror. And it's mirrored inside all those areas that I was concerned about. The idea of rocking it is just to get it to get to those edges that might not have got it as good. As you can see, this silver is holding up really nice and it's, uh, the vinyl is holding in place like it's supposed to. And I'm just going to let it sit for a couple minutes.
All right, now I can rinse it. I'm rinsing it once again with distilled water. And as you can see, now I have a mirror. The overrun for this stuff right here, I take off with my MSR. It just uh, it comes spills over to the front. But as you can see, you can see the Corvette logo and the name Corvette all the way down the line, and it's a solid mirror. At this point, I just blow it off and uh, and back it.